to Viaduct Fisheries with Benjamin Hag. How are we doing? Yeah, good Brandon, yeah. We're attached to... of fish, which is uh, always nice. That's it, lovely, isn't it? We're yeah. attached to one right now, aren't we? Fishing the waggler. What we got in the oak? Uh, some meat today. Meat, we're fishing um, meat, are we? Yeah, pellets get banned here in the viaduct through the uh, colder months, so we've got to find an alternative. And meat, they just, well, as you know, carp enough ones love meat, so. Absolutely love it, didn't they? Yeah. Big F1, is it? Yeah, it's a big, big Formula One. <laughs> Pulling quite hard to though. Yes. Look, look at the size yeah. of him. Look That's that. ridiculous. Got a bit of meat still, still in his mouth. Got to see it. Look still at that. Look. Nailed. Absolutely Top massive, lit. isn't he? So, what I want from you is I want your first tip when you're fishing meat on the waggler, like you are now. Well, not just for meat in particular, but just waggler fishing in the winter. You want a nice, nice light mainline, really, that can aid your cast in. So, okay. I opt for. 017 N gauge line as a real line in the winter. Very shiny reel, that. Yeah, lovely, isn't it? Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, so N gauge 017. It just, just helps casting. Everything's it's, it's nice and thin, okay. low diameter. Um, yeah, just really nice. Flies through the rings, doesn't it? Yeah, like just helps you cast. And with, with waggler fishing, obviously, um, this sort of waggler fishing, you want your waggler to be going in the same place every time. So anything that can aid your casting, um, keep everything nice, it's, it's worth it, really. Lovely, lovely first tip, mate. Tip number two then, Ben. Right, so tip number two with waggler fishing is it's all about waggler choice. So for me, um, I've chose a insert peacock waggler. Okay. Um, 8BB, part loaded, hollow bristle. That's a massive um, tip, really. Have a hollow bristle for this time of year because the light's not great. Okay. Um, so really visible, can see exactly um, exactly mm -hmm. what's going on. It's like a little lighthouse, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> it's glowing. Glowing. Lovely. So yeah, when would you use like a lighter waggler? Um, I'd use a lighter waggler if I was chucking shorter. I mean, we're probably chucking 25, 30 metres today. No, it's a little, um, little island, aren't we there? And, and the thing is with waggler fishing, personal preference for me is I prefer to fish a heavier waggler purely because when you're chucking it, it's going in the same place every time. You want, to, you want to be able to chuck your waggler and for it to go where you want it to go. Okay. With a lighter waggler, it just just doesn't go where you want it to go really. Is it, is it like um, goes all over the place? Goes all over the place, yeah. So quite a heavy waggler really. Like okay. I said, eight BB part loaded. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> there we go. So another tip for waggler fishing this time of year is twitching. Um, so basically what that is, is, well, I've just hooked one, is, um, is twitching your float just a quarter or half turn on the reel just and what that does is it entices a bite basically this time of year the fish like this fishing up to islands and stuff the fish aren't actively looking for food they're there because they live under the island because it's undercut um but they're not actually searching for food so just by twitching your waggler moving that hook bait can entice a bite and that's sometimes the difference between getting a bite and not in these colder months Here we go. Go for a fish. Changed tactics now, haven't we? I see a bit of elastic being pulled out. Yeah, got onto the long pole now. Yeah, had a good start on a waggler. Um, but we've been loose feeding some bait on a long pole from the start. Seen a couple of bubbles on it. So thought we'd have a little drop in and see what was happening. Look at that for a first drop as well. First drop, four pound cart. Lovely. Very nice. So can you talk us through the rig you caught used to catch exactly that fish? Yeah, right, so. Rig choice for this style of fishing. On the Match Lake here at the Viaduct today, um, it's lots of F1s, smaller carp. Um, although you can't really fish F1 style, if that makes sense, you've just got to fish nice and light, really, um, and fish to catch them all. So starting at the hook end, I've got a 16s SLWG. Hook length is 011, end gauge. That's a six inch hook length. You can even land fish that size on light gear like that, can't you? Yeah, so it's all balanced. Balance, balance gear. Once it's balanced, you'll, you'll, you'll land anything, really. Take your time, land anything. Um, main line, 015 end gauge. Um, shotting pattern for, for this style of fishing. It's just a tapered, strung bulk of 10s and Lovely. 11 trimmer. Um, to the float, just 
a nice light float. I mean, it's only it's, well, it's just over three foot deep here in the match. It's not deep so, at all, is it? No. So a nice a nice light float is um is what I found is best. Um, that's a a Guru Slim in a carbon in a 0.25. Just seems perfect this style of fishing, really. Um, two number eight back shots, about four inches above the float, just to hold it all still. Um, and then that's to white hydroelastic. Uh, not a Dacron connector for me. I just use a bead. Uh, Andy Bennett style, just yeah. just so much need to perfect. So yeah, that's the rig, nice and simple. Catches you lots of fish, doesn't it? Yeah, seems to. Catches a fair few. So another tip I've got for you pole fishing on commercials in the in the winter months is all about where you fish in your peg. Um, here at the Viaduct, I fish Match Lake quite a lot, and fishing long for the F ones is always always better. So whenever the wind well, the weather conditions allow it. I always fish 16 meters. Basically, when it cools off, the fish go to that island. There's a lot of cover there. They can get, get out of the way and they sit on the island. So fishing long is, is definitely the way to go on here. Um, you will get an odd bite short and you can get an odd bite short, but, but fishing long definitely gets you more bites. Like I said, there's one now, look. And that just, uh, that just about proves what I'm saying, really. You just get more bites long. And you would it's chill. Out, yeah, because you're out of the way, there's no disturbance. Um, the fish feel comfortable feeding out there. Like I said, we're fishing 60 metres, so probably only, I don't know, eight to 10 metres off the island. And that's where they predominantly live this time of year. They get themselves under there, where it's nice and undercut. Just where they don't get caught, really. That's tip of the day, Ben. Tell us all about it. Right, so my last and my final tip is is loose feeding. Okay. Um, yeah, in, in the winter months, it's always best to, you know, start up a pole pot, build your peg up. That's a good way of, like, you know, building your peg up, getting fish in your swim. But the last two hours of a match, it's all, it's always really good to loose feed. It just brings fish back to the peg and it, it just brings it alive, basically. It keeps them there a bit it as well, doesn't it? Them there, yeah, fish just love, you know, it's, it's not all about the food, it's about the, the noise as well. So. By loose feeding, it definitely brings fish back in your peg. And, and as we've um, as we've done today, we've been loose feeding, and it's just basically a nice rig strung out. We've caught loads of fish like through the water as well and on the bottom. And definitely 100% by loose feeding, we've caught so many more than just by potting. Oh, it's been a great day, Ben, hasn't it? We've caught a few fish in the end, haven't we? Oh, it's been ridiculous, mate. I think we've probably had 70 pound on a waggler, and then probably 80 to 100 pound on the long pole of meat. So yeah, phenomenal day for this time of year, mate. It's been, well, it's been special to be fair. Incredible, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, been great. So uh, anyway, hope my tips and tricks have, um, have helped you out a bit. Uh, if you are coming to the viaduct for the winter months, definitely bring some meat. The fish here absolutely love it. <laughs>